Good morning, and welcome to your weekly message from First Congregational Church, Milford, New Hampshire. I'm your pastor, Al Hoyt. Today is Thursday, June 23rd, my grandson Marshall Pickering's 12th birthday. Happy birthday, Marshall. This Sunday, June 26th, we'll have our normal in-person worship service, which will also be live streamed. Um, at 11.30, immediately following worship, we will have a baptism, a private baptism, for Elise Nicole Payne, is the new daughter of um, Michelle and Guy Payne. Thursday, June 30th, the garden friends will meet from 9.30 to noon. Um, from 9.30 to 1.30, you can drive up to pick up your elements, for those of you who worship at home. Friday, July 1st, can you believe it? July already? Uh, also, from 9.30 to 1.30, you can drive up to pick up your elements. Saturday, June 25th, is the 65th anniversary of the United Church of Christ. I'm older than the United Church of Christ. I don't know about that. Well, I do know about that, but it doesn't make me feel all that good. So yesterday was funeral service and interment here for... George Murphy was well attended by many, many members of the church and George's extended family. If you didn't get a chance to watch the service from home, you can certainly access it at any time. Go on to our YouTube channel and the link should be right there. Um, it was a very moving service. It was um, as where um, Sharita, George's daughter, read something that she had written for him, which was very, very touching. And then his his grandsons, Junior, um, Alfonso, and RJ, all got up and read a eulogy that they wrote together, which was also very moving. So it was great to see Ben McGue. Uh, ben was here and playing for the service. Um, and so, and then we had a wonderful collation at the parish house afterwards. So with all the beautiful weather we've been having lately, I was reminded of a story. Um, some of you have heard it probably as a Bert and I story. Some of you heard it in other ways, but it was one of my favorites. Seems there was a businessman that had to travel to Chicago to attend a, a business conference. And it was such a beautiful day, he decided he'd go take the back roads and take his time. So he left early and took the back roads just to enjoy the gorgeous scenery. And of course, after driving for quite a while, he got hopelessly lost. This was, of course, before GPS. Um, so he was driving along and he saw this farmer out in the field and he stopped and he called the farmer over and he says, can you tell me how far away Chicago is? And the farmer said, don't rightly know. He says, well, can you tell me how far away New York is? The farmer said again, oh, don't rightly know. He says, well, can you tell me how to get to the, the main highway? And the farmer once again said, don't rightly know. And then the man said, well, geez, you don't know mine very much, do you? And he said, well, no. Then again, I ain't lost. I just like that. So um, there's a lot of things going on still at the church. Hopefully now after, after George's funeral and the other things, things will calm down a little bit and we can begin to have a little bit of calming down. Um, the church governance committee has begun meeting to see about ways we could adjust the way we govern our church. Um, it, there's you know, the, the boards and committee system that we have been using for 100 years just is no longer workable. So if you're interested in serving with us on that committee, we'd love to have you. Just send me an email or, or send Carol an email and we'd love to add that on. Um, I've reached out to several pastors that are serving churches that are using a different system of government than we use and to see if there's anything that we can adapt or anything that we can do to make that better. There's a couple of books that we've all read, um, one challenging the church monster by Bill Bixby um, which is very familiar to me, <clears throat> but um, 
has some good ideas, but it also has some warnings about things to do. So I, want, I wanted to mention that and tell folks that this is something that is in the works. It's something we're working on. We aren't going to have a, a rapid solution. This isn't something we're going to have in, in two months or three months or even six months and come up and say, okay, we've solved the problem. Um, it's taken a long time to get us to the point where we are, and it's probably going to take us a while to get to a, a solution to that and a system of governance that will work for our church going forward. Um, you know, as, as most of you should know, I don't run the church. You do. All right? It is your church, and it's up, for you, up to you to decide how to run it. And the boards and committees that we've used in the past has just gotten too unwieldy. We need too many people to serve. Um, and to be quite frank, a lot of the people who have been serving for a very long time are tired and they're burnt out, and they don't want to serve it. Or if they want to serve, they want to serve in something that's a little less demanding. Um, all of those things are understandable. So you'll hear more about this as we go on. We'll keep everyone posted and let everyone know what we're describing, what we're thinking about doing. Whether or not we actually do it or not is whether, whether the ultimate decision, the ultimate decision on how we decide to govern our church rests entirely on all of you. So, if you're interested in helping, we'd love to have you. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Just a reminder, these um, sunflower, crocheted sunflowers are still available. We're still taking donations for the people of Ukraine. And um, please don't forget share. Please, you can still bring your food donations in here for share. And we'll be glad to make sure they get them. So until I see you again, take good care of each other. Take good care of yourself. And God bless you all.